question principal explains to us that nothing is an offence by reason of any harm which it may cause to a person for whose benefit it is done in good faith. That is, nothing is an offence provided it is done in good faith even without that person's consent if the circumstances are such that it is impossible for that person to signify the consent. Now, the facts in the present question are Dr. Amit finds an unconscious person lying on the road. Now, there was severe blood loss and it was important to perform an operation failing which the victim would have died. Dr. Amit did not find any contact particulars in the purse or the mobile phone of the victim and he took the victim to the hospital. During the surgery, victim goes in coma. Upon regaining consciousness, victim becomes permanently paralyzed. Which of the derivations is correct? So, in this question, the correct answer is A. That is, Dr. Amit has not committed any offence. The reason for this being is, from the principle, it is clear that nothing is an offence by reason of any harm which it may cause to a person for whose benefit it is done in good faith. So, the act of Dr. Amit whereby he brought a person, unconscious person who was lying on the road to the hospital was done completely in good faith. Though without the person's consent and moreover from the facts it is clear that the circumstances were such that it was impossible for that person for the person who was lying on the road to signify his consent. Moreover, Dr. Amit also tried to find the contact particulars of the victim but failed to find the contacts. So, uh, therefore, considering the present state of facts and applying the principle to them, we can say that the correct answer in this question is A. That is, Dr. Amit has not committed any offence because the act of Dr. Amit whereby he got the victim to the hospital for treatment was done completely in good faith, making A the right answer.